Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attachments, and we're today with the new Sweepster broom that's been totally redesigned by Sweepster from what they were using. What they did have worked fine, but it was kind of like a Sweepster in front of a standard skid steer bucket. It didn't have a lot of capacity, and they've done, this is just a total redo, and they've done a really a lot of nice things on here that, that, that you'll like. They've put this nice big heavy guardrail up here, this tubing that, because I've seen a lot of these damaged to keep that from being damaged. And they used to offer a set of caster wheels that hook to this front lid, which comes up when you're dumping. And it just, over time, it caused, it caused a little trouble there. And the wheel stuck way out in front. So in confined areas, you had a lot of risk of getting it hit and it just made it take up more room. So they put these solid steel wheels on the side of it. So when you are going down really low to let, let the, it, this does come with a standard cutting edge now instead of optional. So there's a cutting edge under there. Most of the time you'll be using this from anything from cleaning up your parking lot after a construction job or actually getting the mud up off a road after a construction job where you're using the cutting edge to kind of scrape it as the broom sweeps it into your hopper. So when you're using it to, to really scrape and get all the debris or mud up off, off the road or asphalt, cement, whatever it is you're using, these wheels here will be riding and lifting the front of this lid and your brush so you're not just burying the brush down into your uh, surface and for better brush life. This does come with a poly brush or a poly metal mix. Um, and I think that's what will be used 95% of the time, not the poly. I think you want the mix to, to really get the debris up most of the time. The standard unit is 30 inches high. If you get the dust abatement system, if you're in something where you're trying to get rid of all the dust, they do make a really nice system. It's not cheap, but they do make a really nice system to keep the dust down. And they do offer a water system uh, also, but the filter system is uh, probably the way to go. Um, it, are, it comes with the four holes on top if you don't order it with it where you can add it later. So they've done a lot of things. And one thing is they've made it more narrower and they've, they've kept those wheels off of it for better uh, maneuverability. They've made it real easy. When you are ready to service your, your brushes, you simply pull out these four clip plans. You can remove the ends. You can remove the hydraulic motor. I'll show you on the other side the same way to be able to drop your brushes out and replace them real easily. It also has multiple adjustments. So as the brushes wear, you can lower your brushes in here. And what used to be a skid steer bucket kind of with the broom attached to it, is now a much larger volume container there to where you, you just can hold a lot more debris. Now the other one only came where when you would, when you would dump it into the dumpster, the lid would, would, the, would kind of separate and you just overturned it to dump it. And that's what you can do with this. Or you can order a hydraulic uh, lid opening to where you can go ahead and open it to your max uh, opening making it even easier to dump in your dumpster if you need to. They've put dual steps on it, so depending on which side you get in your machine, you've still got a step. It's standard universal skid steer quick attach hitch here. And as you can see, this is a big unit, so it's gonna hold a lot of volume. Come standard with your hoses and your quick, quick uh, attach couplers with the flat face. And on this side, it's got the same system. It's even got handles here because you're going to be handling the weight of the motor. They used to use a motor that was much longer. They're using a different cubic uh, fluid motor on this one that's a lot shorter so the motor doesn't stick way out and you're not hitting it on things, giving you more maneuverability that way. But you just simply undo these four clips here, those two handles. You can remove that real easily to get to your brushes. Same system over on this side to be able to adjust them down for your wear as your brushes go. Overall, they've turned this in from uh, something that worked pretty good and they already had the bucket that was similar that they were using to just a, a dedicated sweeper. It doesn't have a standard skid steer bucket under it and it does finally come standard with the cutting edge under there. So when you're using it, 
down there on those abrasive conditions that you're not wearing out the bottom of your hopper. So overall, they, the price hasn't changed a lot, but the features and the maneuverability has changed tremendously. These steel wheels, the reason they're steel, because the skid steer steers by just sliding, and so you wouldn't want that out of a poly or something. It would wear off real quick when you're moving. So that, that's what's gonna catch all the weight to lift this lid if you were really scraping hard down on the road to get the mud up. So this comes in a five, six, and a seven foot model. This is the six foot model. Um, it's every size you get is approximately a little less than 10 inches wider than what the rating of the broom is. So this is a 72 inch um, broom inside and less than 10 inches wider with all the mechanisms, hydraulic motors and everything like that. And each size is like that. The five foot starts out in a little over 900 pounds. The eight foot goes to a little over 1300 pounds and it adds a little more weight if you add the dust abatement system. Uh, we've sold them for a lot of years. Everybody's always liked the other model. So this has got to be a success over what we had because they've made a lot of improvements. Give us a call or an email at Everything Attachments and we'll make sure that you get the right hopper for your machine. <music>